There's something that captures the imagination uh, or the interest and the compassion and the empathy of the world, the, ho the whole world, when people are just sort of going about their their job or their life and they get in a, in trouble. And then you add the fact that they were a group of children and that I think added a whole other level of empathy. This script, plus the whole team involved, was, uh, was something that really, really caught my interest. And certainly the idea of stepping into uh, Harry's shoes. Um, and I will say also that for everything I thought I knew about the rescue operation. I knew, you know, the tip of the iceberg and it was through getting involved in this project that I learned about other aspects, namely how much of a high wire act it was to get them out and the measures that they took. So, you know, I was, I was interested in working with Ron and have been for a long time. Vigo as Rick is pretty fantastic. You know, I've worked with a lot of actors who uh, you can tell in the room on the day in front of the camera that there's there's a real uh, shift from person to character going on. Um, I, I really felt with Vigo that that was the case that that he was he was taking on board a lot of the aspects of the real Rick, um, and in a really sort of subtle fashion. I think that what it reminds me of is just just the stakes that were involved for these guys, what they were going through, what they were having to operate under really intense pressure, knowing that at the end of the day they might be sending these kids to their death and that that they would become the name attached to that death, you know. So I don't, know, I don't really know how you reconcile that stuff. And certainly for us as actors, we're just going through the motions of, you know, let's pretend to be Harry and let's pretend to be Rick. And, um, you know, we follow the script and we follow the line and we learn what we can learn. But there's something really, really specially embedded in this whole story. Every time I watch any documentary footage, it really gets to me. So I'm very honoured to be a part of telling that story. I think that the real way to pay tribute to someone on screen that really lived or to, to get close to embodying them is to find a way to understand their spirit, what makes them tick, the things they did and, and, and to reverse engineer or to understand from that what's really inside of them and what drives them. And um, sounding like them, looking like them, walking like them doesn't necessarily get as close to that person as doing more of a, a deeper uh, questioning about who they are.